So we're going to jump right into it. We have some amazing guests coming through today, but more so we have some amazing honorees that we're going to get to as well. I see some very familiar faces in the Zoom where it happens, and I'm so glad that you're here with us today. So without further ado, it's my honor, and it's my honor, it's a privilege. Um, not too many people on the Zoom get to say my senator is the majority leader, but Jovan C. Richards gets to say my senator is the majority leader of the New York State Senate. And I, when we, when we confirmed her, I said, no one's introducing her but me because I've never get to introduce my senator. We're <laughs> always in the same room. I call dibs. And Yay! I'm so glad, I'm so glad I get to do this. So ladies and gentlemen, the Senate Majority Leader of the New York State Senate, my senator, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Andrea Stewart Cousins. Thank you. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on the Zoom page. <laughs> Uh-oh. So I, I listen, I don't ever get a chance to say my my leader of the young Democrats. Thank you, Jovan. And you're the executive uh, director of the Westchester County Party now. And you got a cool beard. I'm loving it. <laughs> so it is so good to be part of this virtual gal. I'm with you. I want this to be the last such a uh, gala that we have because I miss you all. You know, this is a rally for you, but it's really a rally for us because when we get around the young Dems, we all get energized. You know, sometimes when you're in this business a long time, it really is hard, especially during times like this when we're up against so much. But it's the young Democrats that, you know, like roll up the sleeves get out there and say, you know, we're gonna do this. Ain't no mountain too high. You're gonna climb it, no valley too low. So I am energized by you. And we know what time it is and we know what we have to do. So I don't even have to tell you any of those things. I remind you all the time that one time back in 2004, when I ran for Senate, I lost by 18 votes. And it was, you know, the longest unresolved race in New York State history. They waited till February the next year to tell me that I lost by 18 votes. We came back. I ran by, you know, I ran again. I won by over 1,800 votes. And when I lost by 18, I remembered a couple of things. Number one, how important 18 plus year olds are. And why I've got to be talking to, to the next generation and the next all the time. And I also realized how upset, you know, my young Dems were because we put in the work and we knew we could do better. And so we came back, we did it. And again, you know, I've been able with your continued help to make history as the first woman leader in the history of the, the state but also as somebody who, as the majority leader, is able to advance so many things that you know and we know you guys were in the forefront of, whether it was you know, reproductive rights or climate change or gun laws, early voting, LGBTQ, you know, whatever it was, you know, you're out there in the front. And so it was incumbent upon our majority to make sure that there, you wouldn't be disillusioned, that you knew that your work mattered. And we continue to this day to really represent, hopefully, not only your highest aspirations, but your pathway to a future. But now we know that we're in jeopardy. We know that we got somebody in the White House who doesn't believe in you know America as we understand it, doesn't believe in the future for so many of us, doesn't believe you know that dreamers should dream, and frankly that that unless you're scheming on behalf of him, you really shouldn't be doing anything. And so we've got to fight this, and we've got to fight hard. And I know I don't have to tell you to do that because that's what you do. You have been incredible you know, keep it up, help us, you know, on every level, you know, I think the biggest thing for us is to make sure people just vote, you know, across the board. Uh, we're in a battle, even in, in across the state to keep our majority because we have been able to do so much 
We have people coming after us, whether it's it's because of our our police reforms or bail reforms. I got you know some guy, uh, Esty Lauder, the heir, decided he needs to invest millions of dollars to keep our majority from becoming a supermajority. And I've got a lot of my senators who they're really targeting out on the island, Pete Harcum up up in Westchester and Jen Metzger and so many that they're just targeting because we've been able to do so much. So we're at a crossroads here. We're at, at a great, great battle. And I know that with the energy that continues to be with, with all of you, we will, we will achieve great heights. And again, we'll do redistricting that makes sense. You know, cut the gerrymandering out. There's so much we'll be able to do if we are able to just hold the line here in the state and be able to cross it on a national level. I also want to, you know, say uh, before I go, just congratulations to all the honorees, including the FDR Trailblazer, who my my good friend, the Attorney General Tish James, and you know, like I said, there are so many so many uh, good things I could say about Tish and, and all of, you know, all of your honorees. I know so many, my, my new Congressman friend Mondaire and, and Stephanie and, and my group. So, so you did a great job in, in really picking outstanding people. And I said, as we're, we are being honored and supporting each other, you know, I can't wait to the victory. I'm sorry, we can't be together, but we will have a victory party. The last thing I will say is that tomorrow I am doing a phone bank for Biden Harris, uh, starting at six. Uh, it's you know we're just going to call into swing states because we know how important that is. And so I know Simra's on, and she'll put that information in the chat. If you could join us and let's make some history, uh, you know I would really appreciate it. So thank you, Jovan. Thank you, all young Dems. Love you much. Thank you for all your support. Thank you.